Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at, well, basically the hard difficulty of the full power battle against Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now I've shown you guys the units and I've shown you their gear. Uh, we still haven't really changed anything from the initial display and showcase video. Uh, so the difficulty is not really ramped up too much. Although our units do start to take a bit of damage and we do lose one or two of them uh, from the AOE attacks. But we still have comrades to select, I still need to adjust their gear, so right now we're looking quite fine. So in terms of full power battle, obviously the rewards here are to get Z power for the purple hero Tapion, which is obviously super duper important. Uh, and then as well, of course, on top of all of that, you also have, as you can imagine, uh, the ability to farm some sagas from the movies medals, which is a bit unusual. Usually they only do the full power medals and you know the acquisition tickets. But it seems like they needed to add another avenue to earn these medals, maybe due to the shortness of the campaign. So yeah, uh, obviously when you are doing full power battles, it's important to understand that they're the inverse of raids and you know, hyperdimensional carp. Essentially you save all your high damage moves when the boss enters their shield. So you will save your All Out Strike and All Out Blast cards. Uh, those are the cards that have the yellow and white you know, borderline. Uh, you will obviously you know, also essentially uh, want to save your Rising Rush for this period as well and any potential special moves as well. So it all is very important. Outside of that, if you get all that right, you should break the boss's shield. And then things are relatively easy. If you don't break the boss's shield, then he does an AoE attack against you, and then it becomes a little bit difficult. So it is one of those things, um, you know, you are going to have to be aware of it. Honestly speaking, that's really about it. Uh, there's not too much, it's not a rocket science affair doing full power battle. It's just making sure that you uh, hit all your moves at the right node and that you have the right power level of characters. Uh, remember to prioritize battle bonus characters. The higher the battle bonus, the easier the time it's going to be. If you are struggling, what you can do uh, is start to look at your gear first. Uh, giving your allies health gear helps a lot because it helps them to survive the AoE super attack. So very, very important. Um, and them surviving that increases your damage from things like Rising Rush and all other attacks. So it is uh, quite a bit important. But yeah, uh, that is basically going to be it. Honestly, like I said, super straightforward. If you fail or if you break the shield and you don't manage to defeat him, you just kind of go again for round two. It does get a bit progressively harder though, so I would say anything past round two, you're probably going to struggle to beat. Um, just because your units will be low, you start to lose them. Uh, the boss does sequentially more damage and takes less damage. So yeah, but that's uh, basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And yeah, that's basically going to be it for me. So I will be seeing you guys in the next one. And until then, as always, if you need help, let me know. Otherwise, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.